Hello ESC Bubble, we are still in Lisbon and quite frankly this is a moment I've been waiting for for a long time because I finally get to meet the wonderful Inês Omendimelo in real life uh, and also her songwriter Pedro Marques who if you watched our interview uh, a few weeks ago you will know they met in very weird circumstances and they produced the song Farmer de Biagem which will now perform in the grand final of Festival de Cancel. How do you feel? I'm very excited. I'm very excited for, for meeting you also. <laughs> you are the, one of the best interviewers that I've had these last few months. You know what, I, I, I've just been getting compliments galore tonight. Thank you so, <laughs> so much. Um, and Pedro, uh, not met you yet. Um, how do you feel? I feel very good, but now I feel jealous of this. Uh, I just came into this relationship. <laughs> it was the okay, like, well, third wheel, like left, left out. I'm, I'm also important in this song. <laughs> but yeah, do, do, do you just want to tell us a bit about what it was like from your perspective, like how the writing the song went? Yeah, yeah, I had a lot of. Uh, well, thank you for asking because uh, people, the, 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 all the attention normally. <laughs> Um, yeah, so we thought about the audience a lot. Like, what would, what, what do I want to hear in a festival that is special? You know, it's not firework, but it's a song. Because a lot of the times, when you are on the other side, uh, uh, criticizing all the songs and saying, "Oh, I like this song," "No, oh, I like this song," it's like you say stuff that then puts you in a compromise. That when you, when your time comes, you have to do something about it, right? And that's what I try to do. I try to do the song that, per, per itself it's valuable and then of course you know like you see it with all the work with the with the movements and all the all the scene it's it looks really good but i wanted the song to be special on itself and uh, and Inez made that very very special that is exactly what you've done you know as, as somebody who spends half his time critiquing songs for eurovision and such i do feel a little bit guilty but i that you say that because i genuinely love your song though and you, we've been getting such nice messages of, of that. Yeah, but you, you're one of our fate i, I told you you're one of our uh, you know, that really makes me feel great about it because uh, you know I don't I, I'm a very offline person because I get myself very distracted so that's a way of me. F I, think I need to start doing that. <laughs> and uh, and uh, it's really nice and uh, so I, I live in a vacuum and besides my mother saying that I'm nice you know and and my neighbors asking me not to, to play too loud. I don't really have uh, that feedback and, and listening. I mean listening. So that makes two of us. So me and your mum say it's good. <laughs> I mean, the same night we just double the number of people that likes my song. It's Perfect. And uh, also now we know the whole of Portugal loves your song because you are going to the grand final of Cheval de Cancel. Sure. Um, so, I mean, there was a lot going on on the stage. Um, uh, whose idea was it? Who put it together? Um, how did that work? Um, the lyricist, uh, Galileo Granito, was yeah. part of the staging mm -hmm. operation. Uh, we had the help of a choreographer mm -hmm. uh, named Vitor Pies. Mm -hmm. and, uh, and our little, our, I would say little, little the, dancers. No. Ah, the the, the dancers slash actors. Yeah, the performers. Yeah, the performers. They they are their background is musical theater. You could really feel that, like yeah. it was very theatrical. I loved it. And they give their soul to the, their soul to the project. They really, they are in this 100. percent I mean, they <laughs> they completely. I, yeah. Our casting was uh, one uh, condition. We wanted people that really wanted to be part of this, and that had some kind of connection to Festival de Canção, and that were excited and um, like uh, easy to be around. Because I, I'm very, I'm very sensitive to, mm -hmm. to the like vibes, mm -hmm. and I think we have the four and I think best no, vibes people. I don't well, know. Well, in the end, I felt that I also nobody could be taller than her because they, <laughs> 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 they are very thin and very tiny. Yeah, 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 because everybody asked me, you know, is like is Inish must be really tall, and I was like, no, no, we're all short. <laughs> it's just you. <laughs> 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 the, the, the actually the books that we have on stage are psychiatry books with with fake covers. That is really good. So that is really clever. One is uh, the treatment of the epilepsy. The other one is the myth of mental illness, and the other one is paranoia. And you look so joyous when you pick it. <laughs> I love that. Um, yeah, I was picking the one that says Turin. Anyway, um, thank you so much for chatting to us. Um, quite honestly, I'm a bit starstruck now, so I don't. So, so, sorry about the interview, but uh, it's. <laughs> Uh, any anything you want to say to our fans? We want to send the world the message of our song, which is 
to be free and passionate of crossing borders in this strange world that we have today. Thank you so much. <laughs>